Hello, my friends. I hope your Valentine's Day goes better than this couple's did. Watch to the end, got important news to tell you. Cheers. Ryan and Brittany were like any other couple in their 30s, eagerly anticipating a romantic Valentine's Day dinner at their favorite town cafe. Little did they know that this seemingly innocent outing would plunge them into a nightmare beyond their wildest imaginations. As Brittany entered the quaint cafe adorned with heart-shaped decorations and the sweet scent of freshly baked goods wafting through the air, she looked at her phone seeing Ryan's text, letting her know he was almost there and was running a bit late. She settled into their usual spot by the window, the warm glow of candlelight casting a romantic ambience over the table. Unbeknownst to them, a sinister event had unfolded the night before. A meteor had crashed into the town's water tower, contaminating the water supply with an unknown substance. The cafe, like many other establishments in town, used this water for everything from cooking and baking to brewing their signature coffees. Brittany ordered her usual cappuccino, unaware of the impending horror lurking within its murky depths. Ryan, running a bit behind schedule, arrived just in time to witness chaos erupting within the cafe. Panic-stricken patrons fled in terror, their screams echoing through the air as grotesque transformations began to take place. Brittany took a sip of her coffee, the tainted liquid coursing through her veins like a toxic elixir. Within moments, she began to feel dizzy and disoriented. As she looked up, her eyes widened in horror at the sight of not one, but three identical copies of herself, staring back from the cafe's mirrors. Ryan couldn't believe his eyes as people were turning into the weirdest, creepiest, grotesque creatures, and even the food was alive. What the hell is happening? He looked for Brittany, but to his horror, she was turning too, and there were more than one of her on top of it. Shit. Meanwhile, Ryan's heart pounded in his chest as he stepped into the chaos unfolding before him. His eyes darted around the room, taking in the surreal scene of animated cupcakes, buns, and various other food items coming to life in grotesque fashion. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, Ryan ducked into the kitchen, seeking refuge from the nightmarish spectacle unfolding in the dining area. He frantically searched for an exit, only to find himself trapped in a labyrinth of stainless steel counters and industrial-sized appliances. Outside, the town descended into chaos as the contaminated water spread its insidious influence, turning innocent bystanders into mindless drones enslaved to its malevolent will. The once quaint cafe transformed into a nightmarish hellscape, its walls pulsating with an otherworldly energy as the creatures within grew ever more malevolent. Ryan's mind raced as he searched for a way to escape the clutches of this twisted nightmare. With every passing moment, the grotesque creatures closed in, their twisted forms contorting in unnatural ways as they hungered for his flesh. Desperation fueled his actions as he frantically searched for a way out. His heart sank as he realized the futility of his efforts, trapped like a rat in a maze with no hope of escape. But just as all hope seemed lost, a glimmer of light pierced the darkness. With a surge of adrenaline, Ryan spotted a small ventilation duct tucked away in the corner of the kitchen. Without hesitation, he squeezed through the narrow opening, his heart pounding in his chest as he crawled to freedom. Emerging into the cool night air, Ryan collapsed onto the pavement, oh, gasping for breath as he watched the twisted silhouette of the cafe loom in the distance. The sound of distant sirens filled the air as emergency responders descended upon the scene. As Ryan looked on, he knew that this Valentine's Day would be one he would never forget, a nightmarish ordeal that would haunt him for the rest of his days. And as he missed Brittany more than ever, he realized how lucky he was to survive, and Valentine's Day would never be the same till the end of his time, and only remain a day of nightmares. Wouldn't surprise me if food came alive with all the processed shit they give us nowadays anyway. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any real horror experiences, email me at twistelliesstoryideas at gmail.com. I have more true stories coming up, so watch for those. And as always, my friends, I'll see you on the dark side. Sweet nightmares. <laughs>